Detective Brian Simonson responded to a robbery at a cell phone store in Queens when Police Commissioner James O'Neill said he was shot by a fellow officer. Friendly fire aside, it's because of the actions of the suspect that Detective Simonson is dead. O'Neill, evidently shaken by the night's events, described the robbery suspect as a career... Try it out.
ISIS attack. Semi Amu Shore is located directly across from White Rock and minutes from the Peace Arch border crossing. Semi Amu Shore model homes are open daily from noon to 5 p.m. You can also visit them online at ultimatewaterfront.com. Semi Amu Shore is listed and marketed by Mike Kent of Windermere Real Estate. 248. After a heated debate, the House of Commons Justice Minister, a committee has passed a motion to investigate the Prime Minister's office. The goal is to find out whether former Justice Minister Jody Wilson-Raybould was pressured to help Quebec engineering firm FMC Lavalin avoid criminal charges. But as News 1130's Cormac McSweeney reports, the opposition is outraged after the Liberals limited the witness list. The investigation is being launched after more than two and a half hours of debate, but the witness list doesn't include some central figures in this controversy, including top PMO officials and former Justice Minister Jody Wilson-Raybould. Liberals argue they could be added at a later meeting, but the NDP's Nathan Cullen is not convinced. The suggestion is that next Tuesday in camera, we're going to put Ms. Jody Wilson-Raybould on the list.